Good day traders, Stacy Burke from Stacy Burke Trading. Daily currency levels for the British pound crosses Friday, June 5th. We have at 8.30 a.m. New York Eastern Standard Time, in Canadian employment change and unemployment rate. We have U.S. average hourly earnings, unemployment, and of course, non-farm payrolls. So big, big evening ahead of us. We've had a pretty big week in a lot of the different major currency pairs starting off with our pound Aussie we see that range has extended down again yesterday and before pulling back and then today slightly extending further we have breakout gaps from back in August that are potentially to be filled the 8000 level could act as a potential support level we also have a breakout level from back in August as well, as well as the monthly lows that are still there as technically significant levels. When we bring this up, we can see that the market did a full expansion of the original monthly high-low coming out of the end of April and May. And now we potentially may extend that for a second full expansion just below that 79.50 level where those pending orders and other technically significant levels are. When we look at our four hour chart, we can see again that range has stops above the high of the week and the low of the week after the stop hunt back into the breakout from up top. And the market has since gone into a consolidation but uh, is heading lower. And we have stops below the low of the week at 80.56. And of course, as we saw earlier, we have that 8,000 level and below there as a potential area for this market to continue. When we look at our 15 minute chart, we can see that the Asian range has extended further. We currently have stops at the low of the day, just below 80.75. We've come from a 50 pip range and extended that out another 50 pips where yesterday's low is down at the 80.54 level and of course the low of the week. So we're down low in that four day cycle, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. This market uh, could extend lower and possibly pull back with payrolls. Again, we have a big catalyst ahead uh, with payrolls coming out tonight, but currently the market uh, was making new lows. We've gone into consolidation in the last day and a half. So we could see a stop hunt low taking out these levels, possibly even extending further towards the 8,000 level and maybe a reversal on payrolls. But currently making new lows as we head into the Europe Open and possibly uh, could extend and take out the lows of the week below the 80.50 level. When we look at our pound Canadian, this pair also, we talked about 7,000 being of significance. The market has largely traded sideways around near the numbers. We have stops above the high of the week at 70.65 and of course below the low of the week at 68.78 as well as the lows of last week at 68.48. Uh, this market has been in consolidation since the end of last month, but a break higher obviously could see this market retest that 7250 level but if we were to fail off 7000 we could take out the lows of the month and head down towards the 6750 level our four hour chart again we can see that consolidation after the big big move down in may consolidating dropping down lower and staying sideways around the 7000 level the market has seemed to have struggled to sort of get much further past around 7015 but again with payrolls we had a breakout pullback yesterday with payrolls we could see one of these levels get broken on our 15 minute chart we can see that big v bottom reversal possibly a peak formation low setting in for a move back up towards the higher highs of yesterday and today but again that consolidation has lasted most of the week and then possibly a peak formation in place yesterday. We'll just bring this chart up a little closer. We have stops above the high of the day and the low of the day. The market is trading in a 25 pip range. 25 pips outside of that brings us to the 69.75 and 69.50 would be a 50 pip breakout. And again, if we uh, were to 
trade to the low of the day and break through the highs. 25 above 70.50 takes out yesterday's high and a continuation up towards 70.75 would take out highs of Wednesday. Again, currently a big move up from yesterday and in consolidation we could see a stop hunt low for a retest of the highs of yesterday and today. Pound Swiss. On our daily chart, we see that after the big one, two, three up, we had a uh, engulfment reversal yesterday. We still have stops above the high of the month as well as last month's highs. We can see that the market traded in a rectangle in April before breaking out at the end of the month and pulling back and then breaking out last month, pulling back with one push, two push, and then three pushes back towards the highs of this month. A break higher, testing the original breakout, would bring us up towards the 2175, uh, 2200 level. We're currently sitting on top of the 2050 level. Our four hour chart, we can see that pull back down to the lower 250 pip box at 2000. So 2000 potentially may be acting as support. We have stops below the lows at 2000 and, of course, above the swing high at 2136. We're currently in the mid middle of that range after the big move up. When we look at our 15 minute chart, let's bring this in a little closer. We're, we just have broken out of that 25 pip consolidation, taking out swing highs from last night's US session. The market, we'll just pencil this in. If it was to move, continue to move higher and take out stops 25 pips above, we could possibly retest and, and move back up towards Wednesday's highs at the high of the week. Uh, so we've had one push, two push, three pushes down on a one, two, three before pulling back and then extending out again in that range, giving us a bit of a micro double bottom W formation. We've broken out of that. If the market was to continue to stay above there and continue its move up, a measured move may take us above that 2100, up towards the 2100 level. Currently, we've just gone outside of that 2050 box. So could see a move higher on that pair. On our pound yen, again, similar, a uh, very strong move up. We had the one, two, three, and as we talked about yesterday, not counter trending as that market uh, outside bar, possibly still continuing towards stops above the highs of March at that 38.65 level. Very strong trend is still intact and on our four hour we can see that uh, market pulled back before rebounding strongly on a one, two, sideways three and we could see this 37.50 level act as support for a continuation of a measured move up towards that 38.65 level. Our 15 minute chart uh, similar, if we just bring this down a bit, <clears throat> we're in a 50 pip box. The market moved up strongly and stayed in consolidation. We could see possibly a 25 pip pullback and a continuation through the highs. This market's trending right now. And again, uh, as we talked about yesterday, no real signs of a reversal, but we do have one push, two push, three pushes into the high. If the market was unable to get past that 37.75 level, we could get a retest of today's lows, possibly a breakout pullback and a continuation down towards the U.S. session breakout. But again, we, we do have a move on top of Wednesday's high with one push, two push. We could see one more push down for a continuation of that trend up through towards the 38.65 level. Up next is our pound New Zealand. Another market that has had extended gains on the downside and we have stops around the 94.16 level. This market is uh, just making new lows, very strong downtrend, but obviously possibly in a blow off. On our four hour chart, we can see that market went down and then sideways into consolidation at the end of last week before reversing on an engulfment at the high of the week. We just had a reversal off of the 9500 level and we engulfed the bull candle. A measured move of that bull candle engulfment could take us down towards one full expansion is 9390 level. A second full expansion if this market was to possibly extend that move to 9300 uh, could see possibly 
the end of the move. When we look at our 15 minute chart, you can see the uh, continuation of this market moving further down. Again, uh, a second full expansion can take us down towards that 9400 level. Currently, the market has moved down 75 pips and pulled back in consolidation towards the end of the Asian session. We could see a stop hunt break further down, taking traders further down before possibly giving us a reversal or a stop hunt back up towards the 9475 level. Currently, though, in consolidation as we head sideways, but again, we could see this market break down possibly 25 to 50 pips towards that 93.75 level and then possibly see a stop hunt back up towards the highs at 94.75 and even possibly towards the highs of the day. Pound USD, similar, a very strong move up and then outside bar yesterday, again, we talked about not uh, counter trending and we can see that traders possibly counter trended and the market pulled back against them. Stops above the highs of April up at the 26.45 level and obviously uh, still gaps from the original breakdown back in March up towards the 3000 level, but no uh, evidence of this market reversing just yet. Four hour chart, you can see that pullback where traders have shorted the uh, break of the Bull candle low possibly, and then the markets come back very strongly and hit them. One, two, sideways, three. We could see continuation of this through the highs. Again, uh, highs up above 26.42. On our 15-minute chart, the market's trading around the 2600 level in a, about a 40-pip range. Stops below the low of Asia at 25.82. Again, a very strong pullback after reversing yesterday we could see this market uh, pull down one more time and then retest the highs of the day currently uh, no real signs of this reversing however uh, we have had three days of strong movement upwards we're still trading uh, below Wednesday's high at that 26 26 10 26 15 level and uh, Again, currently uh, we may see a stop hunt back towards the low of the day before resuming that upward drive. Just a quote from William Eckert, one of the uh, founders of the Turtles with Richard Dennis. I haven't seen much correlation between good trading and intelligence. Some outstanding traders are quite intelligent, but a few aren't. Many outstanding intelligent people are horrible traders. Average intelligence is enough. Beyond that, emotional makeup is more important. Just reiterating traders, stick to your process, really focus on mastering your craft. The outcome is not within our control, but our process is. And the simpler you can make it, and you, if you have the edge and you execute and gradually build that skill set over time, bumping up size as your results indicate, your trading results will uh, show for themselves. Have a great trading session. Remember payrolls tonight. Keep it simple, traders. Manage your downside and have a great weekend. Hi, traders. It's Stacy Burke from Stacy Burke Trading. If you haven't done so, please head over to my website at stacyburketrading.com. I create updates on almost a daily basis and I would love for you to receive them. Just click on the blog. If you want to enter your name and your email address, I'll send you my free audio program, The 7 Step Daily Routine for High Performance Traders. This is essential knowledge for all traders in all markets. And this is for helping traders to master the market with discipline, confidence, and a winning mindset. I appreciate all your feedback and comments. As always, traders, stay disciplined and may the markets go with you.